let's go! Hello. Good morning, one and all. Hello, welcome back. To a fine, a fine Monday, Wednesday, Friday, June. Do you know what day of the week it is? Huh? Wednesday. Wednesday, how do you know that? Why do you know that? <laughs> I haven't known what day of the week it is for like three years now. Hello, guys. What's good? We in Gongaga. Gongaga part two with a little bit of Kujata trauma coming fresh in. I've only tried to do uh, two, maybe three times. Do I try him again today? Do I try him again today before we press on? Cisne's coming to the fold. She's looking happy. She's looking. She's looking like she's found purpose. Real purpose. It's very nice. I feel like I've got some conflicting music going on. <laughs> I'm hearing an overlap of music. But how are you on this bright sunny day? It's pretty hot here in Bali. Uh, yesterday, uh, I had to scoot out. When I got a massage, when I got my face scraped, absolutely scraped and chiseled down. Brie was really hyping about this. Uh, oh. Oh, show, show him the top. Look at that. Look how he's made it. I don't know if you can show him the top. It's got, it's got little sprinkles on the top. Lovely, Ginge. Nice one. Him. This is why well, they want to sell a little slurp. Nah, they, they, they don't need coffee. Half of them in this chat are pregnant. They can't have it. Mm. <laughs> Probably. Uh, but yeah, it was called a hydrofacial. One of those where they like like pump your face and then they put like clay on it and all this kind of stuff. Brie had a really good one and then we tried to do it out here and then uh, Brie had hers first. So I had a massage and then just before I'm about to get my hour, like first ever facial in my whole life, I was like this, this right here is my last go at giving skincare a chance. I, if, if I'm not sold on this, I'm never taking care of my skin again. I'm just going to go full walrus mode for the rest of my life. Um, Brie was like, "That's the. This is the worst facial I've ever had in my whole life. She's destroyed my skin barrier, and my face is itchy and it hurts." <laughs> so then I go on there, and a woman just scraping. I thought she was going to cut my nose off. And the first person I had was a lovely massage, but this lady, she wasn't big, was she? She was. She was a tiny, teeny, tiny person. She had the hands of... She, she had Hulk hands. Just Hulk hands. I've never felt such strong hands in my whole life. But she would just, she would just touch, just do that, and it, it felt like I was getting jackhammered. Um, but guys, before we start the stream, make sure you hit the like button as you're coming through. I made £50 from £10 in the last hour. On what? What are you doing, John? Roulette? Four in the morning, don't time fly, apparently the system I now use is Matthew at Roulette discovered hundreds of years ago and has a 99%, 9% chance of success, so I've just been winning. Yo, no, you either win your money or just double down, simple right. See John, I've done this, it's a, mathematical, it's a mathematical fallacy my boy, you're gonna get wrecked. I know it, it doesn't seem likely, but it will come for you. Because unless you do a hard reset after a certain number of doubles, because doubling up exponentially increases. What is it? Something like 10 doubles in and you're like, like a thousand or two thousand pound? Yeah. I mean, even less than that. So the idea that you can keep doubling, or it's what they call the gambler's logic fallacy, which is that a result before has any kind of sway on the result going forward. Oh! No, red's come down six times, the next one must be black. Or has a higher chance of being black. And logically it is, because there's obviously a small chance that you'll get a 50-50 odd seven times in a row. It's like 0, 0.00 or something, something. But the shit wave will come for you. I used to do that. I used to do that when I was young, like 19, the doubling up strategy. And then I hit 13 losses in a row and wiped my account out. Right, I mean, 13 losses in a row. The house is always against you. What are the chances? And then it's not even the fact that it's 50-50 with roulette, because you've got the zero there. Yeah. You've got that fucking green zero. 
It's going to eat your butt. Then you move to blackjack and think you've got a winning strategy on that and it sucks your extra. Basically, the house always wins for a reason. <laughs> But hey, you may get lucky, you know? You may actually double your account up until you hit like 10, 20,000 pounds, and you'll be good, you know? You just gotta know when to cut your losses. Because my ex's um, dad basically broke up with his partner of like 20 years, became a homeless gnome man, uh, and then with a the little bit of seed money he had left that he could have gone and bought himself a nice place with, and like got his feet back on he tried the doubling up roulette strategy he's like i figured out a roulette strategy and i was like is it doubling up until and he's like no no it's more complex than that and then he went in to explain it and it was just the doubling up strategy <laughs> and then he ended up yeah more or less losing everything if you're gonna do it why don't you jump on poker for black poker would be much better man poker is you, you have a chance it's pure skill for sure for sure or trading. Or trading. Or trading. That's where I'm getting my gambling uh, munchies out. Two secs. I feel like I can hear something else. I feel like there's just two themes overlapping in there, but... No, you're here fine. All right, no, it's fine now. Um, but before we jump in, guys, I've got a little juice of a comment. So I just uh, put out my chapter 7 slash 8, Dean slash Golden Source of Review. Uh, the first two were Pool Peasant, uh, and this one is Underpants Waterfall Peasant. We went to an amazing waterfall. I don't know if you've seen it yet, guys. I mean, just watch it even just for where we went. Uh, Sumatran Waterfall. Oh, my God, the carvings there. It was... It was phenomenal, sat by the river, did a little review, um, got a parasite up my bum. But I want to read you this comment that somebody left on the video. <laughs> now, to be fair, I should, I should respond more majestically, with, with more grace than what I did respond with. But I want to write, read this to you and see if you guys agree. Final Fantasy VII in three parts is not a video game. Actually, it's a disgrace to call it a video game. It's just a game movie, movie of a remake. Your saves are reset at every part. Everything you've done or failed in the game does not matter from part one to part three. Everything you have done or failed to have done does not matter like it did in OG. It's already bad enough to sell it as three separate parts. It's another whole worst thing to cut it into three parts in which you don't retain your first playthroughs errors like back in the day if you made mistakes or missed materials in midgar it was done for this playthrough you couldn't get one or two mega materials you couldn't sometimes get some end game equipment because you missed to do something particularly in sector seven same thing for rebirth it does not matter if you do everything or none of the side activities you will not end up stronger or weaker in part three because it all resets at Every beginning of every single part. This statement, therefore, is 200% true. 200% true that this is not a video game. It's not a video game like the OG was a video game. More than a movie, and this is its main problem. This isn't a video game because you are stripped away of your decisions, your mistakes, none of them matter. You can't even have a different playthrough or just forget things along the way. Everything is forced onto you, onto you unlike OG, where you could miss a lot of the plot if you didn't visit this or that place. It is not a video game in its pure form. It is not. It's Tommy Wiseau. So... Is this Tommy Wiseau? It's a good one. It's a good one. No, they are, they, I can tell you they're being straight up serious. People have that much time to type that long of a YouTube comment. I mean, so look, and then they... Oh, I might as well just read what I said, but basically... I get what their criticism is. I don't. No, there's a portion of it's true. They then go and word it in a way where they make that minuscule, accurate statement completely wrong. And that's that doing this in three parts does break continuity from a gameplay perspective. Oh, 100% it does. Yes, you are hard resetting every game. Um, I mean, if you're going to be technical about what I'm saying about carrying gear, actually you can carry some gear. A lot of games do that. A lot of a lot of ranked games do it. You more or less have it with every MMO, every expansion resets, every seasonal reset that you have where your your, your season ranking gets reset. First. 
Yeah, or there's been many games, what was it, near where you have a significant time skip I'm just saying. that then basically is more or less a soft reset in the game. So anyway, I, I just put what I put, except it is a video game, and you are over-assessing a very simple component of the remake. First, it had to be three parts. I can't believe people are still... Even after witnessing the magnitude, the scale, the scope of Rebirth, to still say it did not have to be three parts, especially if it wanted to uh, engage with some of the built-up compilation material. Crazy to me that people are still saying this. After, I mean, you can say you don't like it, and that's fine, but you can't say that. Oh, it's quite clearly broken up to three parts because Square Enix had a much grandiose vision for the game and what it could be. You know, <laughs> FF Seven OG was huge. It was text based. It was descaled. It could have fit into one part. But it would have had to have cut so many components. So many arcs and beats would have had to be cut. Instead, we're getting them accentuated anyway. If you still can't see why after seeing the scope of Rebirth, then nothing can make you see it because you're just being willfully blind. Second, many games have had hard resets through them, either a time skip, story reset, or about games that have seasonal resets and most a new expansion, essentially making all your old gear or progress completely meaningless. Are they not games? Of course they are. Your notion that gear carrying equals a video game is such a minuscule notion of what a game is, and even, even then it's not true. Because, yeah, you could carry some equipment if you played Remake. You've got some stuff. Then you got right. armor. It's just the weirdest. So it is very it's weird. Point. And then thirdly, if it was a movie and not a game, which is their main point, then how come I'm using a controller, fighting challenging bosses, configuring builds, assigning skill points, and executing combats? Please name me the movie that you've done that with before. <laughs> what movie have you um had all of that? Please name it. I'll wait. And fourth, even if your nonsensical POV was true and it wasn't a video game in its pure form, which is such a hipster statement to me. Pure form. What's up? I don't know. I don't want to be mean to this person, right? They, no, they, be they, mean. Uh, What's their name? Look. Call them out. A video game in its pure form, whatever the hell that means. Even if that's the case, what is actually the problem with that? Even if Rebirth was some new type of medium game content. It's not. Which it isn't, yeah. But even if it was, just saying it's that doesn't equal it's bad. Because, and I'll say it, because yes, FF7R has done something totally brand new, never seen before in the world. Never in gaming history has anything like this occurred. A new innovation that has achieved a ton of incredible things, and this motherfucker's just going to sit and nitpick the only downside to this innovation, which is, yeah, uh, there's a break in continuity. Which... Downside, though? Because that's the thing. It's I mean, the you game can say it's a downside, but to, to hyperfixate on that minor point. Like, you do have to, just like any other video game, you have to gather things, build up your strength mm -hmm. for the end of the game. And whatever happens in the end of the game, it leads into the next game, just like any yeah. other video game that has, like, a part one or a part two. Like, it... I don't understand what their point is. The, really the point don't. is simply just to point out something <laughs> that My voice is, is a break in continuity, which there is a point there, but they they feel like they've just objectively discovered a truth that no one else is aware of and needs to yell it to everyone. Why but it's such a small deal? point. And I was actually making videos before we even had part one of the remake. I said, oh, okay, so there's going to be a continuity issue between the three parts. Are they going to try to incorporate some sort of gear carry uh, system? Or well, how's that going to work if you're very completionist? Are you going to be coming in super, super pumped? And then it was very simple. I just went to Type 0. Type 0 had a really cool um, like scaling algorithm that was very, very elegant that they could have applied to this if they wanted to carry things over. Uh, so you have all of your quote unquote mistakes, all of the things you missed, all of the things you blah 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 blah. They chose not to do it. It would have I like I, I didn't it was, it's such a minor point. I did a whole video on it and I was like, yeah Square Enix if they want they can do this. Or yeah. they can just 
hard reset. I like I like the way that they do it because it's like a whole new opportunity to get new materia. They don't start you at like level seven. You started at level fifteen. It's it's good. It's good. But yeah, I mean, you can you can. I I agree with that statement, uh, Zach. Which is you can point out. Oh, I really don't like that there is no carryover. Yeah, and that's something I. I but when you take that point and then you go and entangle it with a bunch of nonsensical, exactly. inaccurate bullshit. This isn't a video game. Then what is this. it then? What is it? It's the thing. Because you're, you're really... it clearly is a fucking video game. It clearly is. So A lot of people do that, though. Like, well, they'll, they'll make a point where it's totally fair, it's completely opinion And then they butcher it. And then yeah. they, they make, nobody's going to be on your side or understanding of you. They're going to be like, you're a fucking idiot. It's because they're true. they've got to that point. Because they started at the uh, reasonable POV, and then they've gone through enough iterations of online arguments with mm -hmm. people that now they're way that they're way way over here. Space. And every time they present their opinion to someone for the first time, they're presenting it like that person is like they're twenty trolls deep, basically. They're twenty internet arguments deep into it, and you know how an internet argument goes. You start making more and more exaggerated fucking points. Start drooling and sweating. <laughs> like back scale it, make the point that you want to make, but keep it contextual to reality, you know. Um otherwise, yeah. You're lost in the source, man. Right. Right. Many games have actually done it but they carry stuff over properly, like I think the only one I can think of is Mass Effect. And even that was just done purely on choices through the original games. Like you could yeah. say, carry a save over. And it would like, wouldn't even, I think it was like mainly kind of story based, but like they wouldn't have any gear or anything like that. So. I mean, even if you could carry over gear, like let's say, let's say Remake like, had done a gear. It's more than anything. Well, let's say Remake had done gear carryovers. Would you be equipping the gear? That the much lower level, oh. low statistic gear. I Some people might for challenge runs, Material. but these motherfucker ain't gonna do that. So you know for an absolute goddamn fact that, like most games, gear after a certain point becomes bloody irrelevant. Yeah. To sell it. Like, what what current MMO raids are you doing? Where running gear that you got two expansions back, level eighty and wow, were you ever equipping level sixty gear to go fight the Lich King? No, it was fucking meaningless. Yeah. It was dead game. I think there was only a couple of times where you had to, like, in some Final Fantasies, you had to equip, like, older gear. Yeah. I think it was in 10. Was it in 10 or was it in 9? For what? There was, like, certain times where you would have to equip shit gear. Yeah. don't remember which Final Fantasy it was, but I specifically remember that. So yeah. now I don't really sell them anymore. What's there? Was there something guys, like that in 9 and 10 where you had to equip older gear? I remember in 4 where there was that cave where you couldn't wear any metal gear because there was like magnetic shit going on. See, that was, there's, there's that got like, me so wrecked back in the day. Wish I can remember. Yes, yes. Thank you, Josh. It was Ispen's it was Castle 9. 9. Yeah, you had to have your, your, yeah. your lowest, like the, the lower you have, the stronger you were. Really? Yeah. Wait, so how does Side Down Castle? Thank you. Oh, I, think I, don't... I played through nine and I never noticed that. So it couldn't have been that it couldn't have been that brutal a mechanic. So did I just go through Ispen's castle like a noob? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a yeah, that's cool. I never I wanna replay it. I never knew that was a uh, a thing. Hated that place. <laughs> Um, Guys, I'm in the Temple of the Ancients. It's not, oh yeah, Bree. She she's right. She's at the end. She's right on that precipice. I won't say a single thing because of spoilers. Except the music is dang. Yeah, it's slapping hard. The she's music saying. is slapping. But also, Bree is completely rebirth. Is separating Bree from her her bodily functions. Oh yeah, I was so. She's she's playing, and I'm like. Ginger's like, it's, it's, it's like one o'clock, guys. It's time for bed. And he's like, no, no. And then I force her to stop. And within five minutes, she's just like, oh. Oh, oh I'm very tired. Oh, actually. I am sleepy. <laughs> oh, oh, rebirth made me not. Uh, we think we tell. We thought she glitched out yesterday. <laughs> oh, Brie did glitch out. She was playing Queen's Blood. And we saw her. She was, she was getting all emphatic. She was getting all. And then she just went. 
with her phone in her hand. Yeah, she had a phone. And she was staring at the TV screen. And then... Two two minutes later, not a blink. Attempts not a move. The TV screen went up on the phone and you slumped back down into bed. It was just funny to look. Because I realised I, I was losing. Yeah, Bri- Bree's getting really... Um, <laughs> she keeps turning me and she's going, I know you're going to love this. Oh, you are going to love this. Because it's brutally difficult. In Meanwhile, she's just like... This isn't Dark Souls. This isn't Dark Souls. Okay, Dark Souls. Why are you making me do this? So it gets really hard. Do you guys want to concur with that statement? Yeah, there's certain parts where I'm just Does like, Does this game I'm get hard? This right now. I don't have the Later. energy for this right now. Yeah. Anyway, I just realised it's been 20 minutes and we ain't even thinking, sorry, let's get going. Let's yeah, dive in. Yeah, you're in Guga. Yeah. Uh, Guga. I don't have work until 12.30 today. Right. Let's dive in. Hoorah! Okay, I'm going to open with Kujata. I only wish that I had been yeah. afforded the opportunity to do so fail. sooner. Do, 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 do. I really like the This fight is a bit of a... Uh, bit of an ass. Mostly just because Aerith is so glass cannon and there's nothing worse in this game. Yeah. Then NPCs dying, which makes me actually think, should I just run Phoenix summon in case it happens? So honestly, I feel like it's cheap. To... It's not cheap. It's if, not. If she gets NPC wrecked, then so I'm going to use know, Phoenix. So do you know how Phoenix works in this game? Yeah, you just summon it and you can raise someone with your spell with a bit yeah. of Phoenix. So of it's actually not really cheating if you think about it like that, because you have to use two whole ATVs yeah, to you raise got, yeah, it's got a re-raise. Big ATV cast for sure. I think re-raise is probably the better thing that well, it has. Do it with two and equipment. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna run it just in case that situation happens. She gets uh wrecked out of my control. Cause it's bullshit to get like forty percent to a fight now. I'm having a hard time building up my areas. It's it's rough. Yeah, I'm not really she's running well enough. I am I have been and she's still a squish. Squish Yeah, like she's still squishy. She's only good in certain circumstances. Maybe I should be running Kate Sid against the job. You on the road, so take care. <laughs> I would say the only characters that I have that are always consistent is probably Yuffie, Barret, well Tifa. Their leader yeah. Must be indeed. I suspect there's more to see. Although I, I like that everyone takes, leaders. because I talk about what is cheating or not. Yes, I have a weird selection of rules, okay? Yeah. But some people just, they play it against me, like a reverse Uno card. So I use Man Award with Magnify for my whole team to survive through Tri-Dark Disaster and like, hey, that's cheating. It's not. How's that any different to... It? No, they say if you call Revive Earrings cheating, how is that not cheating? Oh, that's fair. Because it's different, right? It just... You guys can see why that's different. He's just got a weird brain. His brain works funny. No, someone in this chat He got hit on the head. Someone in this chat is like, Pez, I see what you mean. Revive Earrings through is different to magnify man awarding it it just is i mean it's all part of the game well actually do what I, you gotta do i'm not running yuffie uh teeth i mean yuffie barrett era that's the squad wait was it barrett as well Very i should probably i should probably be running cloud maybe Ah. It's harder than Dark Souls. I am on the road to planning and it does there's some things that are just kind of I'm just gonna save ATB. Which Dark Souls are we talking about? Because it depends on the Dark Souls. Why is he going for Aerith? Bruh. I'm just gonna get them all stomped up, get mana wards going, or arcane wards. That's it. Good job. Good job, Ella. Alright, he's going. Right, this is a really nice start. Alright, let's go straight in with the fire. It's weird. I don't like dying in games, but Dark Souls is like the one exception where I'm, I'm okay with it. Because it feels like progress in it. Yeah. I feel Ooh. like I have, like, you know how you have a second stomach for dessert? I have like a second stomach for Dark Souls. That was a nice block. 
taking the tray though. Okay. I'm doing nicely. Coming out hot and spicy. Oh, there we go. There's the pressure. Now we focus. Bam. Sick. I know I'm worried about okay with it. I accepted that. That'll get thrown me there. In a game like this, I'm like, I went through FFA, FFA, and FF10 without dying at all. I should not die in this game. Really doesn't last that long. I'm going to probably just use Arcane Blast most of the time. Get all of these free juices. Oh man, I've got that Elden Ring DLC still to play. I forgot. Final Fantasy 16. Uh, it's DLC is in five days. It's it like you still have to 14? play the first. So do I. This is one. This is the boy that said he was playing two after. Yeah. I still might. I still might. Who knows? I do want for the next Final Fantasy us to be able to play it. Together. No side by side. Side by side. Oh, did you see that? It's my dream. Wind. No, this is his idea. Wind ward. Oh, he said wind jitsu. He said wind jitsu. Yeah. And we both want to play together. We don't. We don't have a jitsu. Oh, is he going to run out of that? That'd be arse. Feel that breeze! Oh, nice! Do you think you're gonna miss the most? Okay, ah. I'm gonna try to get some mana still. Oh no! That's an ass. That's pretty lost. Yeah, I'm gonna miss the Guys, okay, sweet and sour. Let's see if we can get a Supreme Art of War going. The fact that everything Yeah. And I'll be the Oh, that's yeah, that's always what I miss about Asian Sims on leave with cheap the cheap prices and cheap bastard, I don't I like spending four pounds on a takeaway rather than twenty-five quid. That's what you're gonna miss the most. <laughs> Probably, no, I mean. Did you hear what I said? I'm gonna miss the little buddies. Oh, the little lizards. Yeah. I need to get a fry out. Alright, let's go. Oh no, I'm stuck on the wall. The Elden DLC isn't out yet. When is that? Is it still not out? I thought, I thought it was. I thought it was too. It's later in the year, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. I was under the impression it was already out as well. I just need to save area. Right. So much fun. I think she's... You can still got the ninja suit on. Yeah, she has. Crackling on! Right, is a rogue too big a cast? Uh, That's not too far away. Mm. Just a couple months. Oh. Okay, you just keep hitting them with their elements. Yeah. Chad doesn't stay pressured for long. No, he's gone up. Oh, that's ass. Okay. Yubi! Where are you, ninjutsu? Oh, board shift out. Shocking. Shocking. Right. Alright, here we go. Limit fine. time. Because I think the problem is the reviews all only talk about massage. 
Ah, uh, should have used her limit right. Let's get that prey juice. Alright, Arcane Ward is gone. Let's get, get that back. Your comments keep getting deleted too. Oh, is somebody spoiling? No spoiling. We are spoilers. We are spoiler sensitive here. But Silver is right though. If your comment does get deleted, you probably should. I don't, I don't know. But that is a good point. <laughs> yeah. Your comment is deleted. Most frost spikes coming for me. Ah, oh, big spread. Ah, oh, why did I just iron defense? Shit. Alright, it's gonna charge me. I'm gonna zip out. Oh no. That was pretty good. For the first time, I used ward shift correctly. Oh no, so I'm the only one who's at the temple, and I, he doesn't know anything about it, so definitely don't say anything. He's very much in the dark about pretty much everything. Nice, there it is. I don't feel like I'm getting uh, as much damage as I should be or could be. Ah. We've got some linear breaks. Should be able to get some juice out. Just give you the get a little break going. Get some of that juice. And then watch you go chow 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 chow. Look at this change. Look. Look at it. Look, look at all these things. You're doing a thing. I'm not using synergy abilities enough though, because I'm kind of camping them. Yeah, you. This guy actually harder. He's not that he's not hard, too hard. As, as far as. Uh, you just got to stay on the strat. Go. You got to stay on the strategy of him. That's he's the on the easier side for the summon because he's uh, weak to a lot of elements. So as long as you oh, get man. that figured out, you can get rid of him pretty easily. Yeah, I think the problem is that you hang on to things too long. After this, I'm going to be doing my arcane blast. Like Three you spells. Can stick them back up. You should use your synergy abilities more because yeah, they do feel pretty fast. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna wait for him to pick his element. And I'm just gonna go. Here goes. You'll see. Alright, here we go. What's he picking? Oh, is it wind? Oh, no, it's fire. Right. Ice ninjutsu. Alright, uh... Oh. Bring him over here. I need to use him. Gotta go crazy! Newbie Bleasers. Yeah, it's, it's low level. Don't know why I've got the low level stuff here, but... I'm just gonna start casting some free spells. Oh, oh I'm gonna get, I'm get hurt here. You don't have enough material on you, do you? No, not really. Yeah, you gotta fix your load up if you wanna beat this fella on his hardest. Oh, should be deprotecting him. Oh, flame thrash is a brute. It's an absolute brute spell. I mean, these ICs, they're, they were free cast anyway. I think he's gonna get, he's probably gonna get this. Oh man, you keep going to get out! Ah, I don't think, hmm, this ain't gonna happen. I just gotta keep going with the Aerith and hope it happens. No way, no way. 
Yeah, if I had big, uh... If you had good material. What? Oh, I still got him out! I still got him! Nice. Man, focus shot is so freaking powerful. Oh. You need to just uh, I need to mana still in this this phase. I also do you ever use uh, Yuffie's broom or form? Not I keep really. forgetting to use it, but it's actually damn good. I don't often. You, you phase out, you dodge him, and you get MP for the dodge. I'm sure what all you have is Yuffie's. But there's a couple of Oh, man. Should be using Fox Frost. That shit's crazy. Yeah, John, I don't think he has that yet, so that's why I didn't mention it. But yeah, well, it's definitely okay. 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 Got to throw some Windy Millers. Ah. What? Some Windy Millers. Some Miss Millers. I'm just gonna... I feel like this fight takes longer without T for two. Yeah, but... I love how she just gets that stagger up to like 230 in two seconds. Yeah. Oh. Hello. 